Hey guys, my name is Frank, this is Pogvlog, and today I'm going to be playing Droom. Kind of looks like Drom up here, but that little O is actually another O, I think, is what they're going for. So Droom. So anyway, in Droom, you control a little cube dude. You know what, why not start with level 1? Why not? You control this little cube dude, and you have to solve puzzles to get to the end of each stage. Now the stages are pretty small, kind of cute. You can rotate the puzzle with your finger. And the goal of the game is to basically just collect the matching number of colored spheres that is displayed above each gate in each level. So, And there's two different colors you can collect so far. There's the black sphere and there's the pink sphere. Sometimes you run into characters in the game. This is Sharon. But they really don't do much. You don't actually need to talk to any of them. And they're just kind of there for visual effect, I guess. I don't know, maybe this is the beta, so maybe future updates will yield deeper character development with these guys here, like this weird-looking can of milk. Or carton of milk, rather. See, this is where you gotta rotate to see the backside of the puzzle. Comes in handy, especially later levels with trees. I think after this I'm gonna go back out and uh, select a different set of levels. Because these are really just the introductory levels and they're kinda, kinda boring. So here's the desert stages the first level of the desert stages a little teleportation pad here once again you can talk to these characters but annoying gogli is just not very helpful so don't really need to talk to him it's kind of fun the music is very it's very ambient but at the same time depressing so i don't know Take it or leave it. I, I kind of would rather play with the sound off. Sometimes it's cool to have the sound, but it, it's very, I don't know, it's like too intense or something. Yeah, I feel bad for this little cube dude. Here we got a different, different soundtrack. So these are more complex puzzles. I guess I can talk to that tree. Anyway, I need two cubes, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and use my brain and do some math. I start out with one black sphere. I need two black spheres, so if I collect two more, I have three. And then collecting this pink sphere removes a dark sphere and gives me two spheres. So But I really think it's a nice looking game. Like, it's a nice looking game. The puzzles are fairly easy, but fun. Let's see, what do I need here? I need two. So let's see what happens. And another thing, you can't cancel out your spheres. So you can't just have zero spheres. So, for instance, if I have one pink sphere, and if this were just a single black sphere, it would not allow me to collect it. So you kind of have to use your head a little bit. Ah. This is going to be a problem for me, because I don't think this is going to work. Because now I only have one. And it's just not going to open. So I got to restart. Deja vu. I guess you get achievements now? I don't think that used to happen. So here we go. How do I do this? Can I hop on this thing? Get a tan and come back. I guess that's what they're talking about. Got myself a tan there. I'm still going to have to restart, but 
show you what I was talking about before. Cause he makes that weird sound effect there. Wow, just tap them and he did something. There we go. So you don't clear all the balls. I'm having trouble with this level here. Okay, now if I subtract two, I'll have one. Don't want that. So I'm gonna collect this, now I have three. Pretty cool, it like pushed the flowers into the ground when I walked over them. But you get the basic idea, just cute little puzzles. Really nice looking graphics. Um, touch control on the menu is not the most responsive all the time. I've had a little bit of trouble with it. You can play through it fairly quickly, um, but more levels are coming soon, so who knows where this game is going to go. Probably the same direction, just with more levels. Very soothing soundtrack, sometimes a little bit depressing. And overall, I'd say it's a fun game. So anyway, guys, this has been Droom. Hope you guys go give it a download. I will put a link to that in the description, as usual. And thanks for watching. Have a good day.